Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a while for one of these and I've been fairly proud of myself for, well, not really even going on Book Outlet for a very long period of time. And then I made the mistake one day of just kind of clicking on it just to see if there's anything new. It's been a while, so they've probably replenished their stock since the last time I had looked. Little did I know, I clicked on it on a day that they were having a sale and it was one of those like tiered sales where the more you spent, the more you saved. Which, yes, I know that totally works on me, only on Book Outlet, because it was one of those days where I was like, okay, I'll just toss some stuff on my cart, see what I can end up saving. And every time I did that, it was like, hey, you're like a dollar away from saving like $10. And I was like, oh, okay, I can add one more book, that's fine. And then it would be like, hey, just so you know, now you're only like $2.30 away from saving like $15. And I was like, okay book outlet you got me and that just kind of progressed until I bought 13 books. No shame. I'm pretty excited. It's been a long time so let's get into this. It is on my lap because it's heavy so I held it up for thumbnail and that's all we're gonna get. So the first thing in there besides the packing slip and all the paper is a very dangerous thing and that is one of these. Like uh, they're even better than they used to be. It used to be 5 off 35, which again, not that unreasonable because $35 on Book Outlet can be like 6 or 7 books. This is 4 off of 20. This is even easier to spend and justify in my mind. You're dangerous, Book Outlet. But they are also totally getting onto the book depository thing and making like a coloring um, thingamajigger on the back now. Totally, totally stealing that idea, Book Outlet. I'm okay with it. So the first book that I am pulling out of there is The Way I Used to Be, and who is this by? Amber Smith. This has been a book that has been, oh, I like the spine. Look at the spine, that's pretty cool. It has like the words mirrored there. That's pretty neat. Um, this has been a book that has been on my radar for a while now. It's just a contemporary that I've been wanting to read, but just kind of never got around to buying. So of course when it's on Book Outlet for super cheap, I will totally do that. But I believe this is reminiscent of Speak. If you guys ever read Speak by Laurie Hall Sanderson, it's a very similar story, but kind of a modernized version um, about a girl who I believe gets raped and she spends her pretty much like high school career trying to figure out if she should come out about it, how it's going to affect her or her friends. So sounds heavy, but sounds really good. Next book I have, I'm really excited about. It's one that I believe I talked about in a releases video and I never really heard much since. I haven't heard many reviews about it, but I love the cover and I love the premise of it. And that is Dream Strider by Lindsay Smith. Um, I've read A Darkly Beating Heart by Lindsay Smith and she's got really unique dark writing. Like her writing is just blunt and pretty vulgar, which I, I can appreciate. But this kind of blurs the lines with fantasy. It's about a girl who can travel into other people's dreams. Um, she can slip into a sleeping person's body and don their skin as her own. So that's paranormally enough, but I'm pretty sure this is also like kind of a fantasy world where they use her um, to uncover a plot that's threatening the empire in both the dream and the waking worlds. So this just sounds super unique, super fantasy, but like abstract fantasy. So I am all about this and just look at the cover. It's beautiful. The next book I had to have, I wanted to buy it anyway, and it just happened to be on Book Outlet. So I was like, yes, but that is Dusk or Dark or Dawn or Day. That's a mouthful by Shauna McGuire, who wrote Every Hotter Doorway. And I just ordered the sequel or the companion novel or prequel or whatever it is, the Down Among the Sticks and Bones or Bones and Sticks. Her titles are very long but I love her writing. It's amazing. Um, I'm completely sold on it and her books are very short. So very long titles, very short books. But I believe this is about a girl who is a ghost. I don't really need to know much about her stories in order to read them just because they're going to be so magical and amazing. So I was really excited to see this on there. Along with other amazing magical writing, I picked up a book that I've been looking for for so long. Like, it's really hard to find copies of this online now, let alone in the stores. 
and that is Lips Touch Three Times by Lainey Taylor. This is, I believe, Lainey Taylor's very first book that she came out with. If it's not the first, it's her second, and it came out, like, way before the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. Um, but I adore her writing. Like, it is just so amazing to me that I just want to read anything that she writes just because it's so unique. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's so good. I believe this is three stories. I'm gonna guess with the three times, but I believe it's three individual stories. I'm guessing about some smooching. Guessing that's what it's about. I don't really care. But I was really excited to find it on there because I've been looking for this forever. And I'm pretty sure this is illustrated, actually, because, yeah, it says with illustrations. So that's pretty cool. Oh man, they're like, they're like good illustrations too. They're like full pages along with like text. So very excited about this. The next book I picked up is a complete random impulse whim by, and I will fully acknowledge that, but I've been wanting to read this series for a very long time. It has a very big following, not only on booktube, but just kind of in general. Like, I've just heard a lot about it, and I've been really wanting to read it. So this is going to seem kind of random, because it's book two, but I picked up Princess Gambit, and this is by C.S. Packett? Packot? Um, this is the second book in the Captive Prince trilogy. Uh, do I have the first one? No. But that makes me hopeful that they will get the first one on Book Outlet sometime soon, because I feel like that tends to happen a lot. If not, they're fairly cheap on Amazon still. But I've just really been wanting to read this. I believe this... Oh, it's for a mature audience. Oh. I do believe that this is a gay romance but it's like steamy. Like I've heard really good stuff about like some sexy time in this book. So you know I'm all about that. I can read that and get down with it. So I got book two. One day I will get book one and I will read it. Okay, this next book, super random. Don't judge me. It's probably not relevant at all to this channel, but I was really excited about it. It is The Gardener's Guide to Common Sense Pest Control. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I, you know that I've been really into gardening and, like, homesteading recently, and this is one of those books that I feel like I always grew up with, like, gardening and, like, bird books and insect books around the house, and now I'm an adult with my own house, and I actually need to supply these things myself. So I'm slowly starting to, like, accumulate a nonfiction library other than horse care books, because I have way too many of those, but I need some gardening books, and I'm always that person where I'm like, what is that bug? Is it, is that gonna kill me? I don't know. I can look it up now. It'll be nice. So the next book is like what everybody is currently buying off of Book Outlet, and I have mixed opinions about it. I picked it up because I have the first one and I read the first one. I said I didn't know if I was gonna continue on with the series, but again, I needed to keep adding things to my cart in order to save more money. So in my mind, this book kind of ended up being free logic. That was Chelsea logic right there. That is Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. I read Truth Witch when it came out last year. Two years ago? How long? That, that seemed like a long time ago. I think it was just last year, though. Um, didn't really care for it, but I was intrigued by one of the characters, the Blood Witch guy. Super intrigued by his story, and I think he's going to make more of an appearance in this one, but... I haven't really heard many opinions about this. Like, I know a lot of people were on the fence like I was about it, or there were a ton of people who just loved this first book and just couldn't wait to get their hands on the second one, and I never really heard opinions about this. So, it's probably gonna sit on my shelf for a while. No promises about getting to it anytime soon, but I mean, I have the first one and this one matches it, so I needed to buy it. The next book I got, I was so excited to finally get it. Um, it was, when I think of the year of 2016 as far as reading goes, and I think of all the like five-star books that I read, for some reason this is the one that stands out the most. So I'm gonna say it was my favorite book of 2016, and it was a debut book of 2016, so I needed to have it. Like, I read it already, I'll probably reread it, but I just really wanted to have it on my shelf just to have it, and that is The First Time She Drowned by Carrie Clutter. This is just so good. If you guys never got your hands on a copy of this, I'm gonna highly, highly recommend it if you're into mental illness type books. Um, I did, I think I did an entire review about this. If not, I rambled for a long time in a wrap up about this, but it is just so good. It's really dark. Like, 
as far as mental illness books go, this one takes it like a step lower. Um, but it was just so phenomenally done. And it's one of those books where we follow a girl whose mother checked her into a mental hospital, claiming that she is crazy and needs to be fixed. So with that premise, we kind of have an ambiguous narrator because we aren't exactly positive if her mom was right or if her mom was the crazy one and what this girl is saying is actually true because this girl's claiming she's totally normal and her mom is insane. So it's kind of one of those going back and forth. But this is so good. Like, I love this book so much and I just really had to have it. So I just picked it up during the sale. The next book I got, I'm really excited to have right before the Halloween season because it's a book that I... I think I talked about it in a releases video because the plot seems very familiar to me and I really wanted to read it and that is Hellworld and this is by Tom Levine. This just sounds so perfect for Halloween. Um, this follows a girl whose mother went missing like 10 years ago while she was hosting like a ghost hunter show. Pretty much her mom went to like this very famous really really haunted bad vibes cave and never came back. So we were following her daughter as she kind of goes on this expedition to this cave to find out what happened to her mother and I'm sure a lot of creepy shit is gonna go down and I'm for it. I'm very excited for this book. So yes. The next book I picked up is A World Without You by Beth Revis. This kind of made its rounds. I think it was early this year. I think it was early 2017 that this came out and it just sounded really really good. It sounds right up my alley again with the whole mental illness type thing. This, I believe, is told from the perspective of a boy who is going to a school of kids with superpowers and he has the superpower to time travel and to go into the past and change things. As the story progresses, we kind of learn that he is actually in a mental hospital and is dealing with other mental patients, not people with superpowers. I just really like that parallel between them and how, again, it's going to be a very ambiguous narration because it's going to slip between what is real for him and what is real in reality. So. I'm very excited to finally get my hands on a copy of this. And the last three books are mainly why I placed the order because I have had so many people tell me to read the series and that I would love it and I finally reached the point where I was like, okay, I will do it. And they happen to have all three of the first, I don't know how long this series is, but the first three books in this series. And that is, I don't know what the series is called, the Others um, by Anne Bishop. So these are books that just sound right up my alley. From what I know, there's a lot of like animal stuff. I don't know whether it's shape-shifting or familiars or companions, but I love me a good animal story. I am totally sold on them. Also, Anne Bishop is an author that I feel like I just should read. Like, her name pops up a lot, so I feel like I should read something by her. So when they had the first three, not only available, but available in hardcover in matching ones, I was like, perfect. This is perfect because these are books that are now only available in mass markets. And we all know how everybody feels about mass market paperbacks. They're just not okay. So I got those three. And that is everything that I picked up from Book Outlet. I think it was a pretty great haul. Um, yes, there will also be an additional haul for the month of August because I have other books coming in. It's starting to get into like my pre-order season. I pre-ordered a ton of books this year and all of them pretty much came out in fall. So I'm starting to get them and it's exciting. So I will have another haul coming up soon in addition to this. I know. It's okay. It's fine. I've accepted it. So that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you're reading some amazing books and I'll see you in my next video.